ဝန်တာပါတယ်သူရတာဝန်တာပါတယ်ဖျားရဲ့ဂျီဇူတော်ဖျားရဲ့ကယူနာထဲမှာသူရတဲ့ဤကိုညီငယ်ညင်းမင
It's not just the word. It's not just a lesson or information. the the living God. It is the living God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It gives you hope. The word of God is not just a sermon. It's just not a, a, a curriculum. It's a God, a person himself. That's why today I'm not going to give you one sermon. I'm not going to teach you a lesson or anything. Today I'm going to give you Jesus Christ Amen. himself. Amen. 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 Everybody, Everybody information the cool be No information. Attention that Yeshu thing will be my going to give you the living. You know, they are honey I'm not preaching, but I'm sharing Christ to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, any Zakega, the Yedo, Yeshu the thing will do Janaka, my two time I'm building chin in Chitwara. When he heard about Jesus coming, that news is give him hope. Two time I think he said, Oh, Shadwara. He's very excited. He heard about Jesus coming, that news is give him hope. Two time I think he said, Oh, Shadwara. He's very excited. I don't do Sensari, and I Yeshu got to him. When he think about it, I'm going to see Jesus. Go I want to see Jesus. But he was very sure. It's impossible for him to see Jesus in the crowd. But he don't know who Jesus is as well. But he only have this desire to see Jesus Christ. With that desire, he came into this crowd. But he didn't see Jesus. He thought about it. I'm going to climb up that tree. I am going to look for Jesus, who Jesus is, and maybe I can see from that view. He just climbed up the tree, but he has no idea who Jesus is. But the crowd is there. There's plenty of guys. But he doesn't know who Jesus is. But the crowd is there. But he has no idea who Jesus is because he never seen Jesus before. But he have this strong desire that he want to see Jesus in his life. But he have this strong desire that he want to see just desire, but he have no idea who he is. He doesn't know who Jesus is. When the crowds approach to that tree, there's a crowd. A crowd. Now he was looking and seeking for Jesus. And then the voice come out, Zacchaeus. Who want to see Jesus first? Is a Zacchaeus. The person who has found is himself. He's the one who want to see. He was found by Jesus. Amen. By Jesus. If you have this desire, Jesus will come and find you. Amen. Amen. You just have to have this desire. If you have desire, you don't want, you don't, even you don't understand, God will come and you. The only one reason. Can bring you to the presence of God is. Is the person the person who have desire to see Jesus. Hang up for God will bring you to the presence of God. Is um, the reason Jesus uh, the Zechariah found Jesus is not because of he, he did something good. It's not he loved God so much. It's not because he's, he's so righteous. What he has is this strong desire to see God. Amen. Amen. And that desire touched Jesus' heart. Amen. 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 That's why between God and man, the relationship is heart to heart. Amen. 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 It is every day is heart to heart. Man heart and God heart connected in the living in the world. Amen. Amen. And everything is changed when God heart and man heart connected. 
Amen. Amen. That's why only you can, there's only one thing that can touch God's heart. It is only your heart. Amen. Amen. When he had this heart, it's a strong desire to see Jesus. Jesus said, I'm going to come and stay in your heart. Amen. Amen. The reason Jesus came into his life is because of his heart. There's a lot of people, but he didn't go anywhere except his house. There's plenty of crowd behind Jesus. A lot of people. Some people want to see signs of wonder. Some people they just want to eat, that's why they follow Jesus. But Jesus didn't go to anyone's houses. Only to Sacred House. Because his heart satisfies God. That's why God worked with heart to heart. Amen. The Christian life is uh, connecting God, relationship with God, with heart to heart. Amen. Amen. And he found Jesus right on the tree. Jesus doesn't just stop at the tree, come into his house. Amen. Amen. I didn't know where one did you meet Jesus Christ today. Uh, some, some met Jesus five years ago. Maybe some three years ago. Maybe just one year ago. But the purpose of Jesus Christ coming meet you, not only just to meet you, not only just meeting you. After I meet you, you want to come into right inside your Amen. life of house. Amen. Some people just come and meet God, that's all. They didn't let Jesus come into their life, inside their hearts. Jesus said, I will come into your house. Amen. Amen. Yeah. House represents your life. House represents the place that you rest. The place that you eat. Place you, you, you have all your family there. And then you walk from there. And then you start from that house. And then the house is the very beginning of anything you do. It is your investment. Then God wants to come into that. Amen. 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 When Zachary uh, bring Jesus into his house, and then they have a dinner, and then they were chit-chatting with the disciples, and Jesus didn't preach, Jesus didn't preach, Jesus didn't say, Zakir, um, you got to change or you got to have mercy on other people. And you have to give back everything uh, to people. Jesus didn't say to him, told him. Just eating, just having dinner. So while eating, dining together, together means fellowshipping each other. It is like two-way having a fellowship. And while we're having dinner together, while we're having fellowship, in Zechariah's heart, it started changing. 
And the only thing can change your life is start from fellowship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. And unless you have relationship with God, and you will never see changes in your life. If you don't delight in God, and the new thing will not transform in your life. And God want to give what he have to you. And what happened to him will want to happen to you. And God is holy. And God wants you to be holy. And God is mighty. He wants you to be mighty as well. And God can do everything. And he wants you to be able to do everything. Sometimes oh, God is able to do, but I cannot do. Oh, God is holy. Oh, but I'm still in this world. It is not God's plan for you. God's purpose and plan is what is Him and what and it's happened, what will happen to you in your life. Every father wants their sons to be like him. Like father, like son. That's a good thing. The Bible said, Ah, Payaro de Lubiore, not the Nodi, Lumio de Gasi, go to you, Nai, Tati, Pijab. And you will go to all over the world and be my witness, God said. Tamet Kahajan, you did read the Lubiore. But sometimes all Christians said, Lugo Machine, Payaoji. Don't look at human, just look at God. And God said, Don't look at me, look at my children. And people said, Don't look at me, God, look at my God. And then the non believer, look at who? Hola? Yeah. People got confused, don't know who to look at. And you are a witness of God. Amen. Amen. The might of God will be reflecting in your life. The unseen goodness of God will be reflecting in your, in your life. Amen. Amen. And then the previous life he have, he just want to rip up other people. And he always think about what he want to do from other people. And he only thinking about greediness. When Jesus Christ came into his life, and the hand that takes from other people, and then give it back four times to other people. Amen. And this hand used to be dirty. But this hand, the hand that giving the blessing to other people. And when the inside change, your action change. That's why Christian life is inside out. Outside in home. It's not like outside in. When you go connection with God heart to heart, your heart will change and your action will be changing. And your hand used to do all sorts of things that God doesn't like. But now the hands that you're bringing grace, God's grace to other people. Like. That's why God's plan is your, spirit, your soul and your body. And he want to feel with his goodness in three parts of your life. Amen. Amen. And you, our hand used to be very, very fast in the walking things. The, the thought is always opposite to God's, and uh, we only think about ourselves, selfishness. But when Jesus has come and live in your house, your heart, but the thing in is changing. The doing hand is changing. Amen. Amen. Sorry? Oh, the important thing is Christ has to come into your house. 
And it is your daily life, the house represents. You live in your house every day. And that is your life. And, and you got to give Jesus Christ 100% every day of your life. And not only I want to see on the tree. I want to come into your life and your, your house. Not just want to meet you and say hi to you. Every day I want to live with you and have, I want to have fellowship with you. Amen. Amen. Romans 6, 13. Romans 6, 13. I read it out for you. Just 13. Mm. Do not offer the parts of your body to sin as instruments of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and offer the parts of your body to Him as instruments of righteousness. Be silly. And for sin, for sin shall not be your master, because you are not under law, but under grace. Amen. Amen. Before we meet Jesus born again, our life, previous life is uh, ruled by the, the, the Satan, the bad spirit, evil spirit. So everything that we do, everything is so evil. But today in this Zakir heart, when Christ came into his heart, and his body, every part of his body became instrument that God used. Amen. Amen. And a God's desire is your hand to be his instrument. And I, he want your body as a living sacrifice to him every day of your life. And he want to go into the, the bloodstream, every part of your body inside. When that happened, and the hand became God's hand. The feet became God's feet. Amen. Amen. And because of this body part is God's uh, body part you don't even need to pray before you pray the moment you step into the house the house is already a bless you don't amen. need to be pleasant yeah amen 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 Blessed are those whoever, whether they live in jungle or city, they are always blessed. Some people live in the city but become a curse. Some people live in the mansion but still they, 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 their life is a curse. But blessed are those whoever, wherever they live, always be blessed to us. Amen. Amen. One, one God's come into your, your heart, your house, and then every part of your body is God's instrument. Anything that you touch is a blessing in the glory of God. God is not only one who stay in your, your spirit. That's why just don't um, bound God just right in your spirit. And let Jesus Christ flow through all parts Amen. of your body. Amen. And every part of your body, the ancient wall, the, 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 the spiritual wall, and it's become a blessing as well, even though you cannot see. Amen. Amen. That's why God's plan is body all spirit, soul, and body. He wants to flow through every part of your body. Like your heart, your soul part is like a water tap. If you, you close that tap, nothing will flow to come, come through. 
When you open the tap, and everything that Jesus has flowed through your life and your body and even outside wall. And then because of you, everybody will be blessed. God's plan for you is not only for you to have a blessing. His plan for you is for you to be blessed to others. Not to get a blessing, to give a blessing. For us, we just ask him for blessing, blessing, give me blessing. God, give me blessing. It's not, it's not a blessing. Amen. To be blessed to others, whoever around you. Give a blessing to others. That's right. It's not only that he called you to give you blessing. When you have that blessing, another stage he wants you to do is to give blessing to others. And to give to others, that's why he called you. As we only think about to receive, not to give. And I'm not talking only about money. In your time, your life, your heart, your love, your forgiveness, and you yourself. And then to, to bury yourself to give Jesus Christ to others. Amen. 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 That is his divine plan in, since from the beginning. So I want to share this. God want to meet you, not only that, God want to come into your life. And every day of your life, He want to fellowship with you, eat with you, dine with you, talk to you. Hello, fellowship. I'm talking about fellowship and delight in Christ. Not only lock your door, read the Bible, and enjoy yourself. I'm not talking about that. You isolated yourself, fast and pray all the time. I'm not talking about that. I'm not going to talk to nobody. I'm just going to talk to God. It's not that I'm talking about. Everyday life, your everyday life. I'm talking about every day of your life, your heart is connecting to God's heart. That's what I'm, talking about. I'm talking about the desire to learn God. From your heart, desire to see God. And you can go to work. And the body is working. But your heart is facing towards God. That's what I mean. Amen. Amen. Some people sit right in the auditorium in the church, but the heart is turning, turning back the other side. But even that's why people who even came to church say their, their life is cursed. Because the most important thing is not where you are, your body, where, not where your body is, where your heart is. Amen. Amen. Some people, your body is here, but the heart is so far from God. Some people, not even in the church, in at work, but the desire to see God and have fellowship with God is inside his heart. God like it so much. Amen. Amen. David want to see God and want to close with God. It's not that he's staying the temple. He was in the jungle looking after the sheep. In his work, so I'm not telling that you got to quit your job. You can go daily your job. You can do business. And but the important thing is your heart has to be with Amen. God. Amen. Hey, God designed for you to work. When you have family, you have responsibility. You've got to supply, you've got to provide your children. 
And it's God's desire as well to look after your own family. But never ever your heart to bear it in that work that you're doing. Your mind, your thinking, everything is not in this work. And your heart and your mind turn to God and your body turn to this side and work. Amen. Amen. Joseph himself is he's a servant. He's in a foreign country as a young age. And the, the Bible said again and again that even though he was servant in other country, God is with him. That's why it doesn't it's not in. Even in that world, God's with you. That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Wherever you are, you are with God and God is with you. That's most important. Fellowship with God, that means that is fellowship with God. While you're walking, you, you're worshiping God. And uh, John chapter 4, the Samaria woman, and Jesus said to them, you don't need to go to this mountain or that hill or there. And this time or that time, I'm not talking about it. Wherever you are, whenever you are, you can worship God. Amen. Amen. I don't ever I think, oh, I cannot go to church. I'm so far from God. No, no, no. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Oh, I cannot go to crusade or conference. I'm going so far from God. No, no, no. Mm. Wherever you are, whenever you are, your heart is connecting God's heart. That's what God desires. Sometimes you go into conference three days, you are on fire, everything, and come back here. That says, not, seems like nothing happened. God doesn't like it. God doesn't like it. It's not the will of God. It's not the plan of God. God doesn't want you to be stay there, uh, just like that. Nisa ne mia ten di paya tema, ten tema, ten ga paya tema. Amen. Yeah. Every day of your life, you are in Christ. Christ is in you. Christ is in you. You are in Christ. That's what God wants in your life. Ten ga paya tema, paya ga ten tema. Si ne bi ten eri paya go te di te ga lojin tau ta ni da go paya jin na te. And when you when you are in Christ, Christ is in you, and your desire is to know you, to know Him more, to know Him more. That's what. God delighted. When that sort of life is in you, nothing, nothing ever can knock you down. Nothing, nothing can pull you down. Nothing can slap you or uh, kill you. Because the victory of Christ is growing in your life. Amen. Amen. That's why I want to share this with you. In your life. And give God even into your body. Your life, your time, your thinking, everything submitted to God. And God wants to use your body as His instrument and work for the kingdom of God. And this hand that you have, God's one is to be His hand. And this mouth that will be witness and sharing the gospel of Christ. And the power of blessing, the glory of God will be coming out from this mouth. This feet. And the feet that God used. And the whole body and the whole life of is to be used by God. Amen. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.